Today, I'm giving you everything you need to know about New World Eternum in under three minutes. I do this because I don't want you to make the same mistake I did, which is spending a lot of time and money on the wrong things. First, New World Eternum is a massive relaunch of the original New World game. The game is set on the island of Eternum, a land shrouded in ancient magic and power. You arrive shipwrecked and are thrust into the middle of a struggle between powerful forces. Originally, when New World was first developed, it was a sandbox survival MMO, similar to Ark or Conan Exiles. Then, they decided to turn it into a proper MMORPG, first leaning towards something like Albion Online or RuneScape. However, over time, it's been evolving into more of a theme park MMO like World of Warcraft, and New World Eternum completes that transformation. It's still an MMORPG, but the recent additions have solidified its status as a proper theme park MMO. However, the combat isn't tab-targeting. Instead, it uses a real-time combat system with a stamina meter, similar to Souls-like games. It's not as refined as those games, but that's the basic idea of how it works. In New World Eternum, they've added archetypes like Ranger or Warrior, but they don't matter much in the long run. You can switch weapons whenever you want and max out all skills. The archetypes are more of a starting point. No long and annoying call to action here, but do like and subscribe. Let's continue. The crafting system remains a huge pillar of the game. The professions are quite deep and interconnected. The items you can create are powerful and play a much bigger role than in other MMOs. You can sell your crafted items on the auction house, allowing you to become a major player in the in-game economy. Professions include armoring, weaponsmithing, engineering, cooking, and more. As for the endgame content, they've added solo trials, where you fight bosses on your own, as well as a 10-player raid. There's also a new PvP area. If you haven't played in a while or ever, there are normal dungeons, mutated dungeons with additional mechanics and drops, and the outpost rush mode. One of the biggest changes is what really completes the game's transformation into a theme park MMO, the addition of a more fleshed out story. There are now pre-rendered cutscenes, more in-game cinematics, and improved dialogue. You can now follow a full story all the way to the end game. The game is available on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S with crossplay. It also works perfectly on Steam Deck, thanks to the addition of controller support. To summarize, New World Eternum is a theme park MMO with action combat and a deep crafting system. If you're interested in MMOs and haven't played it yet, now might be the perfect time to jump in. If you're considering going back, it depends on why you left, but it's a huge MMO with lots to offer. That's it for my everything you need to know about New World video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.